He was there for the pups talk because I'm being a try hard moment. That was the, like the whole evening was pups try hard. <laughs> like the shots that I'm so used to him just going for or whatever. He was like, oh, I'm going to play safe. I've never try harded so much in my life, Paul. I know. I, I can honestly agree with that. That you wanted that kebab, didn't you? What was the motivation not having a Mohican or having a kebab? Guess we'll never know. Right, Paul, I was pressing the wrong button. As I was saying, the motivation was the kebabs. <laughs> I'm on supply. I, I don't mind getting the mohawk, Paul, but you mentioned, like, kebabs, right? And that means I have to try. Things get serious <laughs> when you bring kebabs into it, Paul. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love how pumps in this game don't require any power. And the water never empties. What else do we need for bots now? Low density structures. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you can just one-shot trees now. It's amazing. supply lines of iron. I got a feeling that's lubricant. Nobody's died to a train yet, Baz. Amazing. And I've just been working on the yeah, track. Yeah, right, Paul, that is.
Dump some of them. You just jinx them one, I hope so. Locomotives. this missing then right transport fever yeah i mean if you if you play open ttd you're like when you play it, obviously graphics it's from nineteen ninety five, but the gameplay set the standard for a lot of stuff. Quick base tool. Um main bus. See it's coming this way. All the smelting arrays are here. It's all being fed in and smelted and then put down the bus. Uh green circuits, red circuits, various things, belt production stuff. Uh, I guess the, the science is all here. We've got some kind of a refinery going, but that's going to have to move later when we get a bot. Uh, and then blue science is being built out. I'm not sure what these two are yet. Looks like purple science, maybe. That's our unload point. I think I want to maybe... I'm probably leaving one of these stations here to load uranium at some point, and then we can take that somewhere to be dealt with. But I'd kind of like a passenger stop to at least get from end to end here. But our wall's there, so if I kind of go on that side of it, I'm building where the where we don't have walls. So what I might do is um, might put some kind of passenger drop out. Actually, there's wait, oh, look, look, scumbaggery. Ah, oh, the line's going to smash through that. I might put a passenger drop off here, so you can get from here to perhaps here. Put a passenger station here somewhere. Or I could even just extend out there, maybe. I don't want to be able to get from here to here quickly. And then there's a north-south line to deal with. The crossover's here, so I need to kind of put a station up there. And then maybe one down here. But again, this train line can't really go through that water. So they're going to have to landfill that. Or really sort of jink around it, which I don't want to do. I want to have a road and drive a car. Well, you, I mean, you've got walkways everywhere, but... You know, they're not... If, if two cars come at each other, it's going to get interesting. Trains are a quick way to get around. Uh, of course you can, Catgirl. So many red places may not so bad at all. Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. You just like cars in this game. <laughs> Where's the... Um, there it is. Is there an easy way to make two lines with stuff on the right, each into a single line with both stuff evenly on each line? Wait, what? Is there an easy way to make two lines with stuff on the right 
each into a single line with both stuff evenly on each line. You're trying to mix belts? I merge iron and copper onto a single line on both. Oh, I see. You mean, um, I think what you mean is that. So you put your, what was it? Put iron in here, copper in here, and then you have iron on one side, copper on the other. That's what you mean. You can do it that way, or you can you can literally feed the belt like that, and this arm will put it on the far side of the belt. That's called a mixed belt, that's what you mean. Oops. Something got caught there. How you doing, Paul? Alright. You like your trains, don't you, Paul? Yep. Trains and bots. Trains and bots. <laughs> There's the oil fill bar. It's 102 seconds, Jack Sims. See, that probably needs to be unloaded and loaded somewhere. So maybe down here and use one station for that one for a um, passenger. Possible air. You got shown the rules. I think I'm looking at the new Tesla full self-driving beta release. Might have to some bugs to iron out, you know. Just gonna put these here a second, just in case they decide. I got a call from Elon. <coughs> yeah, he emailed me. 
He was like, do you want to come and work for us? Six figure salary. I was like, dude, come on. I'm worth twice that. Yeah, you know. Guy doesn't know skill when he sees it, obviously. You know what? He'll just struggle. He'll carry on struggling for a bit, blowing up rockets, and then he'll be like, Okay, name your price, and then I'll go and sort out the SN12 series for him, you know? Just just bite him a time. It's costing him more money blowing up rockets. It doesn't make any sense to me. Could have sorted it out for him by now. Wouldn't twice six figures still be six figures? No, be twelve figures, obviously. <sighs> he can afford it. He's just tight, you know. That's all it is. Well, like I say, you know, he'll blow up some more rockets, and then he'll realize. Has to go there, unfortunately. <laughs> twelve, a twelve-figure sum is a squarelian. I like that. Is that a new unit? Trees, come on. train line I'm out of train line is ETS2 worth 15 quid is it on steam sale it gets discounted an awful lot on a steam sale so I don't 
buy it unless it's on sale. Yeah, I'll start some mini bars. I'm out of track. BTS was on sale last week. <laughs> Rip. People seen taking tea breaks, you know. What's the tea breaks going on? Red belt's a bit thin. Yeah, I wouldn't pay full price. You can get get it at a heavy discount in style. I wouldn't. Ooh, train track. Should do it. Don't any of them. Take a few of them. Some of them. What are we doing? Supervising. Uh, let's see. Personal battery. We we'll need batteries for that. Solar panels. Energy shields. Game Planet SWAT doing Euro Truck for Fiverr. Games Planet. We should have a Games Planet link to Euro Truck with my code on it. Tank finished. Oh god. Tanks. Tanks for the memories. Yeah, my, my code gives you 99% off. Oh, you absolute scumbag. No. How do you get rid of them? Crosses again? I know you can do this somehow. Hmm. Is it clear? Can't you just control Z? Oh, control Z is what put them there. Oh, right. There's a way of getting rid of that. Control. They just deconstruct and put it back down annoyingly. Shift right mouse. No. It's like it's marked of a destruction and there's a way of removing it, but thought there used to be a clear option. 
Shift click with a deconstruction planner. Shift click. See, that's so obvious. I mean, I don't know why I'm so stupid and didn't guess that, you know? Thank you, sir. Right, so we'll probably have that as an oil loading bay. So this is a passenger terminal or something. Maybe a fuel stop as well. to the left of what, Buzz? You mean that, Buzz? What do you mean this? You probably meant that. Well, we all know what it is, Donut. Wildlands bought, got him a tank, basically. That's what it is. Okay. That should be that. No more daylight saving from second day in Australia. Uh, Zunalet, thank you for 75 months. Makes me feel old. <laughs> oh, look, he's got a tank. See, some of us are busy building, you know, the base. Others are, yeah, just building themselves tanks. Just saying. You should have eight lines of balanced coal now not coal iron sorry like four on the top line and four on the bottom line
Summer's just about to finish in Australia and kids are on school holidays. Yeah, thanks for giving us a sum back, by the way. be so much quicker if I had bolts. Iceland eruption's given a lot of lava. Have you, Mickey, have you ever seen a lava eruption in real life? Like, not on TV or video, but actually, actually seen one and felt one? They're pretty amazing. Like, you can smell the sulfur. You can feel the heat coming off it, even at a distance. It's unbelievable so much energy then um i don't know what to call this outpost and someone's dead to a tank was killed by a tank pups the enemy base to the north of you any chance you could uh, rally a team to deal with it before it starts dealing with my stuff here? Yeah, yeah. I was about any chance you were lucky to see the eruption. Actually, very lucky. I was on a cruise in the med. And, I've um, organised a team to come and take care of it, Paul. Thank you. I was on a cruise in the med. And it was about 10.30 at night and the captain said... Um, in about 45 minutes we'll be passing by a volcanic island and he said he thinks it's active and it was really weird because um, we went up on deck and it was quite cold um, it was literally like 11 o'clock at night and it was like the water was it was like a mirror like the med was just like a mirror it's bizarre and the moon was up and the moonlight was just reflecting off the, the flat Mediterranean Sea. And then you could see in the distance this kind of orange glow. And as we, as we got closer and closer and closer, the temperature started to climb and the humidity started to climb. And you could feel it getting like warmer and humid. And then you could smell the sulfur. And basically we drove like, we drove, we was in a cruise ship, we sailed. Um, right past it at a distance I don't know what the safe distance was but you could see this island and it was just 
you, you, you see it kind of erupt, and then a few seconds later, you could hear it erupt, and you could feel the heat coming off it, and it was just spectacular to watch. And as we sort of went past it, it started to get cooler and cooler again. Quite spectacular to see. Yeah, it was, re it was, it was one of those kind of memorable things, you know? Uh, what's going on here? I'm just trying to see. It's trying saving the map for error spike. Yeah, we're trying to sort it out. Well, it's froze for me. Yeah, I don't know, Young Gun. I mean, it, it was close enough that we could actually see... It should be back, Paul. Yeah, it was close enough that we could see the island and like the thing like there was buildings on it you know there's people living on it <laughs> it's an active volcano it's crazy but you know it's hard to see the scale of it all but yeah when you when you see like a, a an eruption you see it like shoot up and then you hear the <laughs> and you see the lava go <laughs> and just run down the side it's fantastic i definitely would like to see you know a bigger one bit closer um what do i want to call this area i got a new gadget paul flamethrower i saw it find a forest stand in the middle and set fire <laughs> uh trains run out of fuel on the junction apparently as well yeah Right, I can't think of a name, so we're calling it Brighton. Brighton Passenger. Actually, no, hang on. We just have a little thing for this, don't we? P for Passenger, Brighton 1. Yeah. Brighton 3. This is probably going to be oil at some point. Brighton oil. Load. I don't know we had Brighton. I like, I like the name Brighton, okay. What was it? It was P for passenger, then we had was it C for cargo. Something like that. Whatever. It can always be renamed. Need to get fuel here somewhere. Trouble is. Are we making solid fuel yet? I don't believe so. Choo choo! Who can I run over? <laughs> Get out of my way! Flipping out, this is moving. <laughs> You're having fun there, Paul. Uh, let's think about slowing down then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty certain the track ends soon. <laughs> Passenger terminal, that's a question. I could put it there actually. A crazy turnaround. Ah, the only problem with this is if you come in here, you gotta wait for an exit. That's no good. 
plus there's that to get, so that's no good either. Could make that into a T junction and do something here, maybe. I think this is going to work. off a little bit. The question is, can it be moved? Loved the stream, guys, and thank you, pups, costing me 400 bits. <laughs> Catch you tomorrow. Good night, Mickey. The problem is this train line would have to be moved down to this here. I suppose it's doable. This here would have to branch off and become that. Yeah, it's it's doable. I'll have to break this first, though. I need a lot of grenades. Pups, are you anywhere near the grenades? Say that again, Paul. Are you anywhere near the grenades? I need grenades. Yeah, I can give you something on. That's going to work or not. The top thing needs to link over. It's going to be a bit of a mess. I'm on my way, Paul. Yeah. No. by moving that over. Actually, I don't even know what this is for. What is this? Another tank death. Yeah. Somebody can't drive. Yeah, it looks like it's for ammo, but it's not being fed from anything. Hang on. There's a big forest here and it's getting rid of... Oops. Oh, 
Oh, I've got the perfect solution for that. Stand yes, clear, people. It's all right. Somebody's creating a fire break for you. Happy Yachts 7 Paul. Just purchased my yearly hoodie and t-shirts. Can't wait. Uh, Ryback, thank you. I hope you enjoy them. I've got one on at the moment. I'm really pleased with how they came out. I hope you do too. Happy Yachts to you, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break this so I can fix it again. So the oil supply will be broken for a few minutes. I don't think that we're particularly backlogged on oil at the moment. No, I think we've got plenty of storage. Everything you've marked with an X you want gone, right, Paul? It looks like all the things down at the other end are complete. And um, there's two trains backed up at the station anyway. Can I accidentally grenade pups? <laughs> How bad? No, Baz, because we're friends. Let me get rid of this wall as well. Wait, is Dave in chat as well as actually playing? Is he that busy? What the heck is that? Like a broken track, though. It's just nuts. Yeah, we can't. I, I, I can't find a way to get rid of that either, Paul. Does that disappear over time? I hope so. If you build over it and then take it up again, it should go.
I think Dave was killed by a uh, tank, probably. This all in here needs to be moved, right? Not quite, we can just jink it over. Okay. Hey Paul, can you get it so it goes straight through the wall, or are you just going to move the wall? Well, the wall's irrelevant, isn't it? Yeah, they were inside now, so it doesn't really matter. Very 2D though, Sammy. Sorry, Paul. I said you're looking very 2D though. Yeah, I'm happy to be 2D. Enjoy I could do food. with being a bit more uh, 2D in real life. Hey McBone, how you doing? So the rock is almost complete. Oh yeah. Oh I can't see it. Let's should have to go all the way over there now. No 
no path. Oh, it's broken in. Scumbag. Uh, right hand side, Tiger. Oh, I nearly got one then. Was that Rome? No, Vakanov. I nearly got Vakanov then. That was so close. First thing I'm going to do is put a radar down here. As if. What the heck, man? You should give way to me. Oh, Tom Sunday? Yes! What? What? How is he not dead? Tell Tom to get his train off the track, his tank off the train tracks. Just half destroyed my train and nearly destroyed his tank. 